my next guest didn't set out on a mission to help feed families all over the country. It just all sort of happened. But now with her lasagna love, Moms Coast to Coast are taking her lead and cooking up the hearty pasta dish for their neighbors in need. That's why she is another rad human. Let's say hi to Rian and everybody. What's up, girl? Hey, Holly. So, Rian, and uh, first of all, meet Randy and John. They are rad hi. humans as well. Um, well, explain how this all started in your world. Yeah, so it's funny because, like you said, it, it was kind of by accident where at the beginning of the pandemic, so back in April, I was feeling maybe like a lot of people just helpless. Mm -hmm. um, our state shut down. There were no volunteer opportunities. And I was watching moms in my community lose childcare. Some of them lose jobs, just sort of feel stressed about everything going on. Mm -hmm. And um, I love to cook. My three and a half year old loves to cook. One day we got this giant grocery delivery, very luckily. And I just decided I was gonna make extra meals. Um, and so I posted to a few local moms groups in my community, just saying, hey, if anybody is struggling, please let us bring you dinner, if it would help. Um, it'll all be contactless. Um, and that's, it just kind of went from there. That's, that's amazing. So what was the response like? Because you could have just made a bunch of food and then been like, well, I have all this food. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was the risk. Luckily, we had a big freezer. No, I mean, the... We got a lot of moms responding saying yes they were they were in for a meal um, i think i think there at least at the beginning there were so many families who had never had to ask for help before mm. and they weren't connected to food banks and they weren't connected to nonprofits, and they didn't know where to go but seeing a another mom locally in their community saying hey like if you need a meal i'm here for you i think that was really easy for them to say yes to and i think the other piece was I made clear in my post that struggling didn't just mean you had lost a job. Like struggling during this pandemic means so many different things. It can be a single mom who's distance learning her kids and trying to work remotely or a teacher going back to school. And so I think yep. the fact that we said, you know, struggling means whatever, whatever it means to you. We just got so many moms mm -hmm. saying, yeah, I'm, you know what? That sounds like me. I'm in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So many people in need. Um, so how, how did this grow beyond your individual effort? Sure. So, when I posted, the amazing thing was I didn't just get mom saying, hey, I need a meal. I got so many people reaching out to me saying, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I've been feeling the same way. I don't know how to help, but I want to. Can I make a lasagna? And at first I was like, oh, oh we're sure, okay. And so it went from just me and my three and a half year old to me and 10 women in my community. And then they were all posting on Facebook and their friends saw, and then it was 50 of us and then a hundred and now, we have over 1,500 people cooking across the country actively, and we have another 1,000 that have signed up that we're just waiting to match. Um, we're in 36 states. I've lost count of the cities. I know we're over 300. It's just the outpouring of support is so inspirational, and I think it just goes to show there's so many people out there that, that want to help. They just have no idea how to do it during the pandemic, and this is something it's really easy to say, yeah, sure, I'll make a lasagna a month. Like, that's easy. Phew, for some, not for others. <laughs> no one wants my lasagna. Let's keep it real. Um, well, Rhiannon, you say this is about more than just giving food, um, but showing love, right? Yeah, so I think there, there are a lot of uh, places out there that somebody can go, you know, they can go to a food bank for a bag of groceries and that's, that's functional, but to deliver somebody a home-cooked meal, I think that's, there's something about that that's just, it shows I care about you. I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. There's something about lasagna that shows love and it's, it's a family dish. Everybody comes together. And I, I love the idea that we're giving people an opportunity to have a family dinner, not just a bag of groceries that they cook themselves, but this came, this came from my heart and I'm, I may be a stranger, but I really wanna give you something more. Yeah. So we have a family joining us now who reached out for a little help from Lasagna Love. Let's bring in Laura, Matt, and their daughter who is sleeping brilliantly. I've never been more jealous of a person on my show than right now. Um, their daughter, Coral. Uh, let's bring them into the conversation. What's up, y'all? Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. So, Laura, how did you end up connecting with Lasagna Love? Um, so at the start of the pandemic, um, both Matt and I had lost our jobs. He's in hospitality and I'm a birth doula and doulas were not allowed um, into hospitals at the start of the pandemic. So we had no income coming in. Um, on top of that, I'm also going to school to be a nurse. Um, and on top of that, we moved 
his mom into the house um, mm. during the pandemic to help keep her safe. Um, and lo and behold, it became really difficult for us. And, you know, we're an Italian American family and, you know, food is love to us. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, and I had seen a post on Facebook and it said, you know, if you're having trouble, you know, getting some food on your table, uh, apply for a lasagna and someone local will make you a fresh lasagna. And I honestly, I thought it was too good to be true. I thought it was, you know, some sort of scam where, you know, someone's going to show up and give me some pamphlets or something. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I applied and then you know, a day later, a local mom texted me and she was like, hey, I have a fresh lasagna for you. When can I drop it off? Yes. And like, I, <laughs> I'm going to cry just now <laughs> just thinking about it. Like, I started crying. <laughs> like, it was a freaking lasagna that brought a spark back to our family. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you what, I don't know about everybody else in this audience or watching this show right now, but I needed this show. <laughs> like, I, I, this has been... <laughs> You know, we've lost a lot of hope sometimes and like, are we going to get to a better place? And we have a, a whole bunch of lasagna mamas in our house seats, actually, and they've all got some fresh lasagna they just made. What's up, ladies? They're going to they're going to win it. So you ladies are so awesome for what you do. Look at what just happened. She's in tears and she's like, it's a freaking lasagna. But it, it's it's just such an amazing thing that y'all are doing. Um, so, Laura, you say that you plan to become a lasagna mom one day, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that once I'm able to get my, you know, nursing degree and, you know, help get my family a little stable that I'll be able to pay this back tenfold. You know, it's it's made such a difference for our family. The least I could do is pay it back. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a great way to pay it forward. I, I love your heart. Um, it's in such a great place. So. Randy, uh, John, and Rhiannon, like, it's, it's amazing to see how paying it forward is really contagious, right? Because it comes from such a simple thought in your own heart. And then to think, like, what your little ripple created, like all these other bigger ripples, right? I'll start with you, Rhiannon. Definitely. So we actually have a number of people who are on the receiving end of a lasagna and have since gotten back on their feet or figured out a way to get donations from friends and family because the receiving was so impactful that they just really want to give that on to another family. Yeah, I mean, I can only imagine too, we didn't discuss this earlier, but all the people that helped pay for that hotel and sent money like, and then now like can know this story and see that they were a part of this, like that probably makes them want to do things more. Mm -hmm. And we've like gotten this. more messages about that of like, yeah. if you guys want to help somebody else, let me know, I'm in like, and I'm absolutely cooking a lasagna now. Like you have a new lasagna mama, so <laughs> I'm <great>. in. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it really has been a beautiful thing to watch people kind of come out and be like, I, I want to help, let me do something. Yeah, if someone will teach me how to make a lasagna, I will become a lasagna mama. <laughs> um, I do have some good news for Laura. Um, we reached out to Thrive Market, a membership-based online marketplace who makes healthy living easy and affordable for everyone, which is amazing. Uh, they heard your story and wanted to help. So through their COVID-19 relief fund, they're giving you $5,000 worth of healthy groceries. Yeah! I love you too. I wish I could hug you. Does that sound all right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, no, it, we love, <laughs> this is my favorite part of doing this show, y'all, is connecting amazing people with other amazing people that everybody wants to help each other. It's, we need this kind of vibe right now more than ever.